Hello, my name is Levi Josephson. I am a music therapy major here at CSUN. It's a spark that I see in you. Love me and you'll see it's true that I'm on your side. I'm on your side. The instruments I play are guitar, mostly. Uh, my instrument here at CSUN especially is voice. I also play piano, um, drums, bass, and the ukulele here. Uh, music therapy, in the clinical sense, is a therapeutic and research-based approach that uses music to achieve non-musical goals, such as learning how to speak, um, teaching rhythmic uh, exercises, improvisation, um, emotional expression. Uh, but really, to me, music therapy is using music to kind of evoke personal growth that's within all of us. I'm on your side, I'm on your side, I'm on your side, I'm on your side. I, I was researching, the more I researched psychology, the more I found out about this music psychology. And through music psychology, I found music therapy. And from there, I realized that here at CSUN, they actually have a music therapy major, one of only two in California. So I, the more I researched, the more I fell in love and just packed up my things and came down here. It seems like a cruel world, but knowing it's our world, you've got me thinking that today is ours. On your side, I'm on your side. Uh, there's one session that particularly stands out to me. Um, it was my first semester at uh, CSUN in music therapy and like I said we had to do field work which we go out into the community and we work at a facility that you know does music therapy specifically so we have a supervisor watching us at all times but at this point I was leading sessions and at this point in the semester I really wasn't sure if you know if music therapy was the thing for me you know like we all have that that moment when we were thinking about it and so at this moment, I was working with this client and I was just in the moment we were feeling the music. At this point in his entire life, he had not spoken. And while we were, drum, we were drumming together, while we were improvising, he started humming, just humming, vocalizing a simple melody. And from that point on, we started realizing that he could speak, he just hadn't. He hadn't chosen to in his entire life. But he totally had the capability, so it kind of just taught me that you know, at that moment, this is what I want to do. It's just such a rewarding experience that it's not for me, it's for them.